Hey guys, so as you can see, I went and changed up my hair yet again and I just wanted to come on really quickly and give you the rundown on my new hair color and cut and the whole shebang. So when I got my extensions in the other day, I knew I wanted to do something different with them because I was just ready for a change. And you guys know when I wear extensions, I'll usually stick with like the longer length styles because I don't know, that's just what I'm comfortable with. So this go round, I decided to go a lot shorter and I decided on a bob because I don't think I've worn a bob before, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, I changed my hair so much, but I don't think I've worn a bob. And then as far as the color, I just had this blue dye sitting in my cabinet for like the longest time and I opened it up and I saw it and I was like, might as well use that blue, it'll probably turn out really cute. So that's how I got the idea for the blue bob. So the hair that I use for this is from Valencia Rose. This is their Virgin Indian Curly Hair. And when I first got it, it had these like really pretty soft ringlets in it. And I used three bundles. I started with a 18, a 20, and a 24 inch bundle. But of course, I did cut this up a lot to get the bob. So I don't know how long the hair is now, but yeah. And then of course, you know, because I didn't want to bleach or dye my real hair, I also have in a lace closure. So I have three bundles of the Valencia Rose Virgin Indian Curly Hair and a closure. Okay, so to get this color, first I bleach the hair and I use the bleach that I always use, which is the Clairol Powder Lightener and the 40 Volume Developer. And I only bleach the shortest bundle of hair, which of course was the 18 inch one. And I also bleached the closure. And then the other two bundles, I just left those black. So I left the bleach on the hair for about 45 minutes or so until it turned like a light brown slash dark blonde color. Then I washed it out dried the hair and applied the color and for the color I used Beyond the Zones Huckleberry Blue. I let the blue dye sit on the hair for about an hour and a half then I washed it, deep conditioned it and all that good stuff. Then I just went ahead and made it into a U part so that's what this is and the way I did it was I just put the blue at the top so the closure that I dyed and the one bundle I put those at the top and then the two black bundles, I just put them at the bottom. And then, of course, you know, I just chopped it up and hacked it up into this bob shape. And I kind of wish I could have filmed me, like, actually cutting the hair. But, woo, that just would have been way too much. Because I kept going in, cutting it, fixing it, cutting it. And it was just like a back and forth process. So, yeah, I couldn't film that part, but I think it turned out pretty good, especially for this being my first time cutting a bob. So, yeah, I'm really happy with it. And as far as this hair, this hair was so, so easy to color. This is how it turned out on the first try. I didn't have to go back and re-bleach it or recolor it. And even after bleaching this hair and dyeing it, this is still really soft and shiny and bouncy. It's not brittle or rough or anything like that. And I haven't had any shedding with this hair. I don't have matting or tangling. And I also love how thick and full this hair is. It's not super heavy, but it does have a nice weight on it, which I like. The one thing I will say though about this hair is that the one bundle that I colored, once I bleached it, the curl pattern like completely disappeared. So if I were to wet this hair, the bottom would go back to being curly, but the top would pretty much be bone straight. So if any of you guys are interested in this hair and you still wanna wear it in its natural, curly state then I would suggest not bleaching it or coloring it because the texture just does not hold up very well to that but you know I didn't really mind because I already knew I was gonna wear it straight anyway but just letting you know but aside from that I really don't have any other complaints I have been really digging this shorter style it's you know a nice change up for me and I think the blue sets it off really really nicely and I'll go ahead and turn around so you guys can see how this looks from the back and from the side So um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think I covered all the basics on my new do. But um, if any of you guys have any questions, just let me know. Of course, as always, I'll put the link to this hair as well as all the information and the pertinence and everything down below in the description box. So thanks guys for watching and I will talk to you soon on the next video. Bye.